She's the nail tech at work. Um, oh, she told me he was married. I'm like, fuck! Why are all the cool guys married, huh? Or something, you know? And then I was just like, well, it's just harmless fun on my phone. And this harmless fun, um, well, somehow ended up in um, drinks one Friday night. And then the next thing I know, I'm in the back seat of his car wondering where the hell my niggas are. <laughs> Good one, Penny. Another win for you, girl. In Hogden. And we... We fucked everywhere. <laughs> like, we did it in the, the bathroom. And, um... One, one time, this one time, we, we did it in his bed. Yeah, God, that was the worst. Um, I was, um... I was washing my hands in the basin and I, I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror. Her mirror. <laughs> There was her foundation and her lipstick and her toothbrush. Like I was, I was confronted with her. And he'd never pretended she didn't exist. I just, I'd never seen her, but I could see her and I could, I could smell her and I could see me just standing there. I never remember giving permission to all the endless mouths on my breath. No once, these. They were attractive to men. And I gave everything to my children. My milk, my life, my youth. By the time I had unclasped the last babe from my teeter with an empty shell and the men had stopped looking. I was forgotten. Until Mick winked at me. The other day, one of the girls was swiping left to this guy wearing absolutely. Well, you're actually swiping right, so you'd be like matching. Clearly, you don't know what you're doing. Left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> left. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. To this guy wearing absolutely nothing but like lounging on a couch in front of a fire with a garden gnome in front of his junk. You know? <laughs> what are people thinking with these garden. shots? Okay. <laughs> like... That actually sounds like one of my photos, actually. Did she swipe left to that? Yeah. Well... I think... Uh, I mean, I know he's, um... He's married. Really? Yeah. Okay. Do you think I'm okay. a bad person? No. No. <laughs> well, love life is complicated stuff, you know. Complicated, yeah. Yeah. We all do stuff. Maybe we should just not give each other relationship advice. So we're not very good at this. What? Final How call. How did we miss that? Oh, Jeez. Wow. <laughs> over and over again, my stomach clenched in contractions of rage, with wild, uncared for children and a lack of remorse for a dying husband. She goes against all natural instincts of a mother and wife. I was a good mother, wasn't I? I've known nothing but motherhood for the last 20 years. I just wanted a moment of me. When you were born, Nick loved you. He left our bed for you. I felt him choosing you over me. I tried to kill you. I tried to make you well. Forgive me. The only sin I've committed I'm not on trial for. I just couldn't bear to hear you. To see you. I couldn't. I couldn't bear to see you so unwell. I guess he's with you now. I mean, that's what he chose here on Earth. Why wouldn't he choose you in the afterlife too?